Are you about to put on a performance? Here are a few tips that I think will really help your performance go smoothly. Hi, my name is Liz from Chillemoji.com and I give you tips and tricks so that you can play cello for all those moments in your life. If you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. Consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you won't miss out on any other cello emoji videos. All right, so let's dive into some tips that will help you feel more confident while you are performing. This is a little bit of a spin-off of the article that was written by Laurel Thompson in Strings Magazine in the October 2018 issue, but I just decided to put a little bit of my own spin on it based off of my own personal experience of doing a lot of performing as well. Okay, most important is when when you're learning a piece of music and uh, you're learning the notes and everything, really make sure you're committing to a specific fingering and a specific bowing. There is nothing more confusing than every time you're approaching a piece of music you decide to change which fingering and which bowing you're going to do. Make sure that you try to lock that down as early as possible and that will help with just feeling more comfortable about what you're about to do and it will also help with memorization as well. Make sure that you also know which tempo you're about to do this song in. Uh, whether that means you can give a specific metronome marking or uh, you just know that this is the steady tempo that you're going to play with your uh, accompaniment, uh, really, really make sure that you are secure in that and that you can play through the whole song at this nice steady tempo. As you're getting ready to perform, you can of course bring that up to your final tempo and practice running through it then. But from the very beginning, this is also a good chance for you to establish for yourself, like, okay, what is my final tempo going to be, um, and how will I get there, and how will I practice to make sure that it's going to go smoothly to that point. As you're working through your piece of music, be sure to identify all those parts where there are uh, difficult bowings or difficult passages, uh, intonation issues. Make sure you put little stars next to them, and make sure you practice these little sections um, specifically so that you are focusing your concentration fully on these areas. But the other key note is that when you are taking these sections apart and you're practicing these specific sections, make sure you go back and put it back into context. So say uh, you had a, you know, a four measure uh, problem area, make sure you back up like one or two measures before that area, uh, that problem area starts and, and try to run through it. Because it is always true that, you know, when you start right at the beginning of the problem area, it could just work out fine. But when you're putting things back into context, things often happen or, or your balance may be off that uh, the issue may still be there. So always make sure you put it back into context. Another tip is make sure that you're practicing playing through continuously. Now don't get me wrong, I am definitely in the camp of if there's a problem or you make a mistake, make sure you stop and you fix and you correct it. However, when you're getting closer to your performance time, you also have to practice just just going through from beginning to end, no stopping, no matter what, even if things happen, you actually have to start practicing like how can I just like continue on, how can I have this uh, mini performance so that you're kind of preparing for the worst case scenario, just in case if something does happen to go wrong, you still have the ability to go forward and to complete the performance. Make sure you're deciding for yourself, are you going to memorize this music or are you going to use the music? There is nothing worse than trying to like flip between the two because then your eyes are going up and down, up and down, and more often than not, you're gonna actually lose your place because you lose a split second of time for your eyes to sort of focus back on the music. Um, so it is just way safer to just decide for yourself. If you're going to memorize the music, go ahead and start memorizing that music as soon as you can. Uh, but if you are going to use that, that music, then make sure you are practicing with the music in the right position in front of you and that you are getting used to seeing the music there. Make sure you mark in your part also uh, what I call sort of white flag moments. So say you're going through a piece that is particularly hard. Uh, I always encourage all my students to make sure that there is just one point where you can almost regroup. Whether that is a rest, whether that is just like a nice easy note that you can play. Uh, these are all things that are good to mark in your part because as you're going along your adrenaline is going to be running high and you may be feeling a little bit like stressed out but when you see this sort of white flag moment of just like okay reset and feel good about yourself then that will help just calm everything down and give you the ability to keep going practice performing now this can take 
many different forms. Um, you can totally gather a group of friends or family and just kind of play for them. Um, you know, if there aren't people around, you can kind of, I don't know, set up a mock uh, performance area where, I don't know, put some stuffed animals or something in front or play for your plants, I don't know. Uh, but setting up a sort of situation where it is giving the impression of making you feel like you're performing, that's always good. Uh, some people talk about uh, just do a sprint, like run up and down a hallway or around the building really quick and then you like go into the room and you sit down and you play because the heart will be pumping and that'll give sort of the similar feeling of your uh, nervousness or uh, excited energy you may be feeling on the performance day. So that'll give you a good judge of like how can you calm yourself and how can you get through the performance successfully. Practice in different scenarios. So say you're in a practice room and you're always facing in the same direction. Try one time facing in a different direction. Try practicing in a different room or a different scenario. Uh, some people actually practice performing with say like the TV running in the background because all that extra noise may be distracting. So challenging yourself to perform in different scenarios will kind of help prepare you for whatever situation you may be going in because sometimes you can't always predict how the performance venue is going to be like um, and you may be feeling nervous so if you're challenging yourself to just play in all these different scenarios you'll probably be prepared to uh, mentally stabilize yourself whenever you go to the performance venue. Lastly, have a performance routine. So this can take many different forms. Um, I definitely have my own performance routine where on the day of a really big performance, I will do certain things like, you know, have certain foods that I'll have on hand and eat. Um, I'll make sure I'll take a nap, you know, uh, make sure the night before I'm not out, you know, super late practicing or something that I'll make sure I get to bed really early um, and just feel nice rested and relaxed on a day of performance um, and those are just a few things definitely some people have other things like uh, you know they'll want to do some meditation or they'll only want specific types of foods um, and I think whatever helps you feel calm uh, in time for your performance is definitely going to be a great part of your performance practice routine. Question of the day, are there things that you do that help you get ready for a performance that I haven't talked about here? List them in the comments below. I would love to read uh, some of your suggestions and pass them along. Just remember that when it comes to performing, you will get better with more time and more experience performing. Uh, I will say a lot of people ask me, do I still get nervous when I'm performing? And I say yes. And I actually now have the mentality that if I'm not nervous for a performance, then I actually am more nervous because uh, usually something goes wrong if I'm not feeling nervous. So, so it's okay to feel nervous. It's okay to have that excited energy uh, that you feel on the day of a performance because I, th I do think that that will actually help you perform better. Um, it's just a matter of learning how to handle it and how to manage it so that it doesn't affect your playing in a bad way, but rather in a good way. So continue to practice performing and I think you will find that you will definitely get better at it as as time goes on. Remember, you can always use your friends around you. You can use your lesson times as little mini performances as well. Uh, take advantage of all that you can and the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So good luck with that. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you won't miss out on any other videos. If you'd like to check out some other tutorial videos or perhaps some cover videos, I'll leave the links right over there. And thanks again for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!